this video from Sharp Help, we're taking a look at receipt header programming on the XEA 137 or 147 cash registers. Um, in addition to the register and the mode key, you'll also need the um, instruction manual. There's a few pages that are useful. So the first page is the flowchart, which shows you how to enter the line programming in the basic user guide that's on page 19. You'll also need the character entry chart, so that shows you how to put in all the um, letters of the alphabet and the numbers. You'll also need the character code table if you're doing any punctuation, uh, but I'll, I'll come back to that later. The, what, another thing that might be useful is to write out exactly what you want uh, programmed on the receipt header. So I'm doing three lines, sharp help at the top, centered in capitals and double sized, and then the website in lowercase, normal size, followed by the phone number. Um, if you want it centered, then you have to make a calculation and put in the appropriate amount of spaces. So each line you can have up to 30 characters. Um, so I've worked out that this line uses 19 characters because the double size um, characters are worth two. This line also has exactly 19 characters and bizarrely so does my third line. So because of that, I need to pop in five spaces at the start and then the till will automatically put in six spaces at the end. You don't have to do this unless you want it centered, um, but I do, so I'll, I'll show you how to do that. Um, so to enter the correct part of the program, you need to turn the key to the PGM position and then press subtotal, followed by 104, followed by the receipt SW button, and then you press the line number that you want to program. So for line one, number one, followed by the receipt SW key. So you can see that I've just been following the flow chart on page 19 of the quick start guide, and that's got us to the character entry point, which is now the tricky bit. Um, so I want sharp help, double sized and in caps. So the first thing I actually need to do is put in my five spaces. Space keys here, and fives indicated on the display. So I can now press the double size key because I want my sharp help in double size. Um, I now refer to this chart to get my letters. So to get the capital S, that's number eight followed by department two. So that's S in, I now need to press double size again uh, for the next letter, which is H, which I get by pressing seven and the department one. Double size again, and for A it's zero, followed by department one. Double size again to get the R, it's seven followed by two, seven, department two, double size. P is numeric 5 followed by department 2, double size. No, it's not actually because I'm, that's P, so I now actually want to put a space in, so I'll get rid of the double size, just do a space, double size again for the help. So H is 7 and department 1, double size E, capital E is 4 and then department 1 double size, L is number one followed by department two, double size and the last letter capital P is five and then department two. Once you've entered all your characters for that line you can press subtotal to save it. If you want to have a double check you can scroll down you can see one I did wrong there earlier. If you scroll down a bit, it will show you what you've just programmed. Um, so you don't have to leave the programming settings to check what you've just done. So we can now move on to line two by pressing number two numerically and then the um, receipt switch button. If you want, if you were only programming one line and you're finished now, you could just press the this button here, which would save your programming. Uh, but we're jumping to line two. So you press two and then the receipt switch key. If we refer back to my chart here, I've got to put in five spaces and then I'm going for lowercase and putting in a website. Um, so yeah, without any further ado, I'll start doing that. So I pop in my five spaces, one, two, three, four, five. And then I need www to start. So the lowercase letters are also accessed via this chart 
so they're just always next to the capital letter so W lowercase w is 2 followed by the department 3 and the shift 2 shift department 3 it's W 2 shift department 3 2 shift department 3 and then now we need to put the dot in for the website www dot so the character code um, entries you type in a three digit code and then press the double zero button um, and this is what I needed that chart out for so I want the dot which I've highlighted that's 046 so if I type in 046 and then the double zero button that should give me my dot um, it's been unnerving doing this because obviously I can't see on this machine the one downside as well as the lack of buttons is you can't actually see what you've done um, so we'll just have to presume I've done that correctly and then I can go on and type in the rest of the website address so lowercase s is 8 and then shift department 2 I need the lowercase h which is 7 shift department 1 lowercase a is 0 shift department 1 lowercase r is 7 shift department 2 lowercase p is 5 shift department 2 so that's sharp and then lowercase h again is 7 shift department 1 lowercase e is 4 shift department 1 lowercase l is 1 shift department 2 lowercase p is 5 shift department 2 sharp help so I need another dot um, so that is back to the character code so it's 046 followed by the double zero then we need co so lowercase c is 2 shift department 1 and then the o is 4 shift department 2 and then we need the dot again, so that's 04600 and UK to finish. So the U is on shift button 3 after pressing 0, 0 shift 3. And we finish with the K, which is on 0 shift 2. Again, when you get to the end of the line, your subtotal button here, TMST, will save what you've done and you can, good idea to, I think to receipt feed forward especially when doing something horrible like a website so www.sharphelp.co.uk, so that's all on there correctly so again if you're only doing two lines you can now press the total button to save what you've done but I'm jumping on to line three which if we have a look at the sheet here um, it's 19 characters again so I need five spaces I'm doing TEL in caps followed by space dash space and then a phone number it's a made up phone number so please don't call it um, so yeah let's jump to line three so because we're halfway through the programming we've just pressed subtotal we can press three followed by the receipt switch button and then everything we're programming now is what's going to be on line three so five spaces to get it centered and then we're doing capitals T E L. So we refer back to our chart here. Capital T is 9 on department 2. 9 department 2. E, capital E is 4 on department 1. And L, capital L is 1 on department 2. I'm going to put in a dash after the space, so that is on 8 on department 3 pop in a space then 8 department 3 and then pop in another space 
and then we can put in the phone number. Uh, the numbers are also on here, they're all on um, Department 4. So I'll basically be typing in the number and then hitting Department 4 each time, it looks like. So for zero, it should be zero, Department 4. For one, two, three, four, pop in a space, five, six, seven, eight, nine, what have I got at the end of my number? That's why it's useful to write it down. I'm finishing with two zeros. So zero department four, zero department four. Again, subtotal, save what you've done. And you can have a peek by feeding through a bit of paper. There we go. So then to save the setting and leave this part of the program in, you press the total button. And then you'll turn the key back around to the wedge position. I'll explain how to get rid of the footer message um, in a different video. We now pop a sail through. You can see we've personalised our receipt header, so we've now got sharp help, um, www.sharphelp.co.uk, and then a made up phone number underneath. Um, and I, I think that looks a lot smarter than the default sharp message. With the footer message, you can obviously you could program that exactly the same way that I've done the top three lines. You just, when you're in the flowchart programming, you obviously just choose lines four, five, and six. Uh, but there's also another way where you can change the format of your receipt header so you have six lines at the top or only three lines at the top. So just delete the bottom three, and I'll have a video uh, showing you how to alter the layout, uh, which will be appearing on screen now, probably. So you're welcome to watch that. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel if you found this video useful or visit sharphelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.